government is committed to in terms of really now diversifying yeah. the economy. For real. We've mounted it. But because of the petrol dollar, we didn't work our tongue. Mm -hmm. So this is the recession is not unique to us. So we can see America came out of a recession. So getting angry is not going to get you out of a recession. Doing what we are doing already. Funding roads, solving power, building houses, creating jobs, putting money in an economy that had been starved of money. Of, of, of funded. Understanding that infrastructure really means brick and mortar, not infrastructure of the stomach, which was canvassed yesterday. All the kerosene, all the rice that was distributed yesterday was imported. It meant that all the income for producing it was left What's in about? factories abroad. What you got was the dash. That's the difference. So when people say there is no ideological difference, that's the ideological difference. Making it work at home, even though it's challenging. Because, as they say, it is only sweeter adva after adversity. There will be adversity. I've seen a session before. It happened in 1984, fortuitously around the time the president came. Yeah. I've talked to that to generation of my children. They didn't hear about it. Yeah. Essential commodity. Yeah. It's happening in Venezuela mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. where people have to really queue. So, before we get to Venezuela, Let's work together and build. So it's not helpful to continue to damage pipelines. Anger is not a strategy. Mm -hmm. The economy just bleeds more. So price of oil has gone up from where we projected it would be. $38. $38 about to about 50. 50 But are we getting the value? No, mm -hmm. because we're selling less. Yeah. So everybody should just wake up and smell the coffee. Those who are angry and take the anger out on pipelines, just realize that all the workers in that region won't get paid because they won't get enough money. Yeah. But we can earn it. So anger is not a strategy. I've talked about our resilience, our indomitable spirit. There's no time like now. Yeah. Elections are not the issue. For, us, for me, uh, and I speak, what I can contribute through my ministry to the total package is to get the work done. Get our people to understand why we're in public service. It is because millions of lives of people we may never ever meet depend on what we do. Mm -hmm. That is the meeting I have with my staff periodically. That if you pass that file out quickly and we can pay that contractor, there are many, many Johns and Musa and Chinidu and Ismaila who you will never see, but because we acted quickly, their lives will change. I had a meeting with my controller of works telling them the game must change. They are going to take ownership for all the federal roads in your state. Mm. And your career development is going to be dependent on whether that road has a pothole, mm -hmm. has vegetation, mm -hmm. is safe, whether you recover an accident or you prevent an accident mm. from happening. We're creating a marriage with them, with the federal uh, uh, state commanders of the federal road safety corps. They said they had never met before. Mm. So, Sector commander in the state, state controller for works in the state. They probably don't know each other. The core marshal was telling mm -hmm. me yesterday this was the first time in 29 years they were having this kind of meeting. When we did a spot test, many of the people sent to the states for federal works, federal core marshal had never met each other. So it was yesterday we were saying, shake hands, take each other's numbers, you're going back to that state to deliver for us. We set ourselves very short term goals on the highway. Even as we are fixing the highways, can we recover our right of way? Our right of way is 45 meters from the center line on both sides. It's been built on, it's packed on, it's traded on. We want parking to take place, we want building to take place, we want trading to take place, but it must take place off the setback so that people can use and drive through the road. Everybody is flying, it's because the roads are not good. Now, moving cargo by air means that it's expensive. So, the road out of the recession, I can see it. But all of us must not own it because a time will come when, when we begin to recover the highway. People will say, oh, it's poor people. But the impact of a poor person's 
unlawful activity damages the yeah, entire economy. You saw it in a papa. Poor people were trading under the bridge. The bridge caught fire. fire. The national economy yeah. was damaged. So these, these are the hard choices. So we want to see recovery of the right of way. We know that there will be extra movement in about 10 days mm -hmm. during the Eid. Mm -hmm. We know that there will be extra movement between 22nd or 21st December right through to the first week of January. So our road management capacities and strategies on normal periods cannot, cannot be the say. same for high traffic periods. We challenge them. And interestingly, they've all signed up that things will get better. Interesting. So I close by telling you in this context, the human problems I'm going through tooth and comb. The president is going through, the vice president, my colleagues in all their ministries, and each day we unearth what the real problem is. We match it to the symptom and it is consistent. Then we diagnose it, we, de we, 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 we design the solution. Mm -hmm. So these recessions have happened during the uh, import license scandal. It happened in the 90s during the, until we, the Iraq war was what saved us. So this is the third time. So a recession is not a death sentence. It is a symptom of a global economic problem. How deeply it bites varies from nation to nation. Depends on what you ate yesterday. Right. What Dubai ate yesterday was that they invested the same oil money in airports, in hotels, in medicine and everything. We used the money to go and do parties there. We used it to drink champagne. So the recession is biting in Dubai too. If you go there, they will tell you. It's biting in England too. But they have built their power. They have built their rail. Now, in all of this, we must adapt. Mm. We must adapt. The flights out of this country in this season are full. Yeah. So do we agree there's a recession? Are we adapting? Are we ourselves making the right choice in winter to conserve? Or are we still going on those foreign holidays? Because everybody who invariably buys a ticket to go out is not spending naira. He's sending money out. He's taking dollar, euro, mm -hmm. yen out. The flights are full. Go and check them. Mm. Is I, that I, consistent I, I, with the I, I think, behavior? I think the argument would be that the flights are full because capacity has reduced significantly. Not necessarily because the traffic is holding as was the case last year. If capacity reduces, right? Virgin has off flights it will, seven. It, it, it doesn't matter. People Emirates are saying, has caught flight to Lagos by 50%. That is part of what you will see, right? In the dollar demand. There's still a demand for it. That's well, why it's going on. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily mean that the numbers have come down. I agree. Not Significantly, significantly, as we should expect it. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't see the dollar pool. Mm -hmm. I expect that in the, when they all return, you will see that the demand will drop. Yeah. And you will see the price adjust again. In terms of a big bang, 2019 is a horizon for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Dangote refinery should be finished. The Dangote petrochemical should be finished. The Dangote fertilizer should be finished. Yeah. If we stop importing those three things in 2019, you will so see a corresponding drop yeah. in our demand for dollar. So people shouldn't lose hope. Uh, we continue to run government. Private sector plays its part. And that's how we'll get out of it. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your time. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.